Well, hello guys, my name is Nick from Nick's Toy Garage, and today I'm restoring uh, Alfa Romeo 75 from Majorat. So, as it is spinning on my little spinning plate, you can clearly see that its uh, wet paint is kind of while well, uh, leaving the car. It has opening doors, there's this rolling in the frame, it has opening doors, the window is a little bit scratched up, it has actually, well, plastic-ish headlights. Uh, it has an ugly toe. I hate these uh, toe hook covers thingy. Don't know what to call them. Uh, so they have the opening doors and it has a white interior for some reason. There it is. It's Majorette Alpha 75. My favorite brand of course, Alpha Romeo. So first order of business is to remove the rivets. So I take my, uh, my, take my handy dandy drill and drill out the front and the rear. Pop rivets. After both rivets are drilled out, I take my handy dandy screwdriver and pop open the model. Removing the base reveals the interior and the glass. Now the uh, axles actually hold in with this little spring. I'm going to remove them uh, a little later so I can uh, paint them separately. Now the interior just lifts out. It's nice and clean, but it's white and it doesn't really suit the color I'm going to paint it. Now the glass was a little bit more difficult, not really sure why it was held up, I think it was held up by the spring of the doors. But after about 30 seconds of me cursing off camera, I managed to loosen up the glass, sliding it out from the rear. Do it, there we go, he is good fella. Then on to the sand blasting cabinet, my favorite part of every restoration. This was the best investment I ever made for this channel. The paint just flies off and instead of taking me 2 hours to remove the paint with some paint stripper, this takes me 30 seconds to a minute. It's incredible and it doesn't damage the metal surface. I was worried, I was worried about it damaging uh, the, the metal surface, but luckily it doesn't. So after all the paint is removed from the outside, I flip it over and do the same on the inside. Being really careful not to damage the spring on the inside, so while well, the doors will still open and close. So after the entire model is sandblasted, we're going to take a close look at it out of the cabinet and there you can see all the paint is gone even in the door jams. Now I love how detailed this model is, it actually has the uh, Alpha 75 badge on the back, it has a number plate, it's amazing. So for primer, I primer, I'm using a fine surface primer by Tamiya in grey. Two coats in total, one with the doors open, one with the doors closed. Leaving between 15 to 20 minutes to dry between coats, sitting in front of my uh, massive small table heater. Don't know why I call it massive, but oh well. Like always, I forget to paint the inside first. Always paint the inside first, and I always forget. Now for color, I decided to use a blue. Not really, I was debating on painting it black, but I just wanted a nice blue Alfa Romeo 75. In total, I did three coats. Two with the doors open, uh, closed, sorry, and one with the doors open, so I can get to the door jams. Leaving again 15 to 20 minutes to dry between coats in front of my heater. Because, well, it's freezing outside and it's freezing in my little workshop. No, again, uh, I just said it, uh, well, literally a minute ago, but I always paint the insides first. There you go, so first insides, then the rest so you don't get overspray. It isn't that hard, but I just keep forgetting it. Now let's fast forward to the interior. First, do the same primer, it's a plastic and metal primer, so one coat, well actually two coats of primer, really lightly putting it on the model. While that dries, I go back to the base, well, let's fast forward to the last coat, I just open the doors and paint in the door jams. And obviously just remain to just do the last layer of paint. Now the interior. Just uh, pick it up and give it a nice coat of black paint. I did, I think, six coats in total, but they are just like this mist coats because if you just if you spray it on too thick, well, the paint just doesn't stick. I did use some sandpaper before the primer, but well, you just have to mist it on and hope for the best. 
Now for my second favorite part of every restoration, the fine details of the car. So I take my uh, paintbrush, take my little metal-ish paint and paint in the four door handles. Luckily I did it off camera, uh, on camera this time because I'm, I'm used to, well, um, not, well, p filming it but not on camera. After that I paint in the Alpha 75 badge, the center badge, well just, I said center badge, Nick, follow me please, center badge, there we go. And then I take my red paint and paint in the tail lights in red. I know I probably used need to um, paint in the, uh, the, the, the side markers in uh, orange, oh, I forgot. I forgot the, the name of orange, but I just, um, well, I ran out of orange paint. So fast forwarding to the, to the right of the car. And after that, let's concentrate on the wheels. So also fast forward this, painting in the wheels, just the same color of, well, chromish paint I used on the door handles. Then on to the reassembly. So first take the base. Uh, first I was just going to try to slip in the axles this way, but I just have to remove the spring. Uh, you just have to take a screwdriver. In the middle there's a little tap, you just have to uh, get a spring from behind that and it just snaps right off. Then just place the axles in the right place and reattach the spring. It took me about three attempts because the axles kept, uh, well, leaving the car just flying off, which was pretty funny to be honest. So uh, after the uh, axle is back, well the spring of the hold in the axles is back into place, I just place the glass back into the model, making sure it's behind the door spring, so the headlights are in the proper position. After that I just uh, place the interior, but I forgot something major. You will see it in about 6 seconds. After placing in the base, I noticed that I still have well, the little yellow, uh, yellow I say, white tow hook uh, attached to the interior. Which isn't, uh, I, I, I said in the beginning I hate that, so back apart. Take my uh, well tweezers, my, my snippers thingy, I always forgot how these are called in English, and just snip off. The tow hook. After that, let's go back to the reassembly. So just place the glass back, place the interior back, and place the base back into place. Kind of snapping it back into place, but like always, I just use a self-tapping screw to uh, well hold the base back together. So if I ever want to take it apart again, I just can unscrew the base again. Now at this point, I realize I, the doors aren't closing. <laughs> So the spring was little, was something messed up with the spring. So after a while hitting it with a really large hammer, the doors really closed. Then for the third time, third time's a charm, the interior goes back into place, the uh, base goes back into place, and then I just take my self-tapping screw and screw in the base one last time. So after this is completed, the restoration is completed. So let's uh, put down my Imbus, take a close look at the car. So first of all, let's take a look at it uh, before the restoration, when it was still, well, red, scratched up glass, well, the interior was uh, white and the wheels were, well, all the paint was off the wheels. No, I didn't manage, well, I did polish the windshield a little bit, but I just couldn't get the deep scratches out of it. I know I can use some sandpaper, but that's maybe for next restoration, because here is the end result. I know the paint isn't the best and the windshield is just scratched up, but I still hope you really enjoyed this transformation. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe and hope to see you in a future restoration. Bye!